bag in a box. Correct, and yeah. then you okay. put them in the freezer. Okay, so you can keep these in the freezer right. because if you're like a one or two person household, mm -hmm. or maybe, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you're holding it for when someone's coming over for tea yes. or for coffee or something like that. This is what this is perfect for. This is spring. We're gonna start see, getting the ladies yes. over. Yes. We're gonna start playing cards. We're gonna start going mm -hmm. over, you know, doing things at the church. Whatever perfect. it is, this is, you can pull these out as you need them. Take them out about an hour before you want it. Mm. Okay, so then you could just take them as you need them, which is what I think. So if you're getting 32. You know, I've been doing this with, with chocolate chip cookies for years. Perfect. My mo my mother-in-law makes the most delicious chocolate chip cookies. Uh -huh. But you know that fresh taste right out of the oven, you lock in that freshness. If you leave it out for a day or two, it kind of goes away. Oh, oh gosh, if I dropped it. If you immediately Sorry, guys. put them in the freezer, it locks it in. That's yes. the secret. Try it. So the fact that they're doing this with the muffins, it's locking in right. all of that moistness, all of the flavor. Again, you can pop them out when you want them, when you need them. Maybe give away some as gifts. That's a yep. good idea, too, since you're getting 32 of these. Gosh, look at the bounce back. They bounce because back. Because they're that moist and they're that good. We only have about 200 left of the combo now. They are I don't flying. Generally, I don't generally play with my food, but I do no, with okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. They're so delicious. They are truly the perfect size for a snack, the perfect size for just anything, really. Breakfast. Yeah. You throw it in your bag, go. And, and look, hey, before we leave, yeah, we have to just go show them kind of on the look. trays here. If you're doing um, an Easter gathering, if you are going to mm. um, have the ladies over for brunch, something, yeah. a brunch, All check right. that out. Perry, Beautiful. thank you so much. You're These welcome. are amazing. I'm going to have to order them before they're gone. All right, we got to go back to Guy. Guy, what do we got going on? Bye, Carrie. Uh, I don't know about you. I'm I, I'm already full. I, I'm almost <laughs> getting full. I know. But I've saved some room because we got pork tenderloins coming up a little bit later from KG Barbecue. <laughs> and we have lots of other great stuff coming up in this show. Uh, and remember, everything in our two hours is free shipping and handling. I love that. Everything you order, you'll get free shipping. All right, pay a little bit of tax. That's it. And we have our HSN credit card offer with $40. So um, we've got some cool stuff. You... You showed these last time we did our show last week. So that. many went out, but we're down to last call on our cookies con amore, right? The Italian cookies. Real from Italian Nona cookies. Fernanda. These are a real authentic from that, you know, New York Italian bakery. We used to get those all the time, every Sunday for our Italian lunch at home with all of our family for Easter. They come to you fresh, homemade. They are so delicious. They're a best seller. We've got everything, the thumbprint, the jelly. I mean, it's they'll come to you too in time yeah. for Easter if you get them today. So I tell you, advantage. my, my ex-mother-in-law used to make these things and They're I would so watch good. her and she'd be like, you better eat that whole thing. <laughs> That's right. You don't take a bite, you eat the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> not a lot left, last call. No, How, how okay, many left hurry. in the carrot? The carrot, I need to, how many do we have left in the carrot? Because I know that was the one of the most popular. Only 240 and 300 in the, in the bunny wrap. Yes, and then you can keep that tray for, you know. Guaranteed delivery before Easter. Mm -hmm. Today's the last day. Also, have you have you had the KG barbecue? Not yet, but you my husband slide. loves a tenderloin, that's for so, sure. This, basically what you're getting here is you're getting KG's Best Barbecue. Um, I love this company. My, my, my good buddy uh, who runs this company, he's just, he's, he's so good. He's won a lot of awards. His name's uh, Brian Teeters. He's gonna be joining us. You don't get one or two, you get three, one and a half pounds, one and a half pound size of sweet glazed pork tenderloins. Now you know the pork tenderloin is basically it's the filet mignon of the pig, mm, all right? I didn't know that. Buttery soft, yeah, it's the old back strap up there. Yeah. It is so tender, it comes all ready to go. All you gotta do is heat it and eat it. So one easy. tenderloin would take care of everybody. You know, if you've got two to four people, that's one tenderloin. You're getting three of them. Three tenderloins. Three. Four and a half pounds of food. That's coming up 500 to go for around for everybody. Okay, free shipping, all right. so good. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. You sure you can eat Let's some go. more? I know, I put the stretchy pants on today, I told them. So that I could, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. I, have I might have to loosen it. All right, I'll okay. be back with you okay. in just a sec. Come on over. Um, many of you have seen me offer and present red chocolate, and you know, it's basically the only chocolate that I buy here at HSM. Um, as far as chocolate bars, I, I because I love a chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. So do you. Problem is, you don't like the chocolate bar that's got the added sugar. Right. You don't want the added sugar. Well, red doesn't do that. It's 40% less calories than the regular chocolate you see out there. This is their Easter special edition. It says Happy Easter on the box. And I will tell you, I would challenge anybody out there to compare this 
to full sugar chocolate mm -hmm. and say it's not every bit as good, if not better. Because it's European candy makers. Correct. All right? And we have got, look at how beautifully it's made. We've got all the flavors. It's the 24 count, grab and go. It's less than a dollar a bar. Carrie Naletto is back. Yes. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, me too. It melts. It's all my favorites in your today. Mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, it melts in your mouth. And you know, it took five years working with Master Chocolatiers to give you the world's premier no sugar added chocolate in the best giftable form that you possibly can get. So you're coming with two sleeves and two packages. Each is coming with 24 bars inside, and the sleeves actually turn into a card. So you know, guy, I always have to make my card to you. So spring is here. Easter means new. No holiday is complete without you. You can write your own private little greeting inside so don't worry about buying an extra card with this but all you're going to do is choose which 24 bars that you want right. okay so and we've given you so many different choices so i'm going to try to race through them as quickly as possible yep um the most popular generally is our milk chocolate it's delicious for a very good reason um milk chocolate is going to give you that super creamy beautiful when you look at it with your eyeballs first that beautiful experience i always call this moment of my moment of elegance and it could be your moment of elegance because the moment you open it you're attracted to it from how beautiful it is. Then you're gonna break off the pieces and you're gonna start, you know, maybe this is after breakfast, maybe that's after sure. lunch, maybe that's, but the entire bar, if you're talking about milk chocolate, is only 100 calories. It's crazy, okay? for a chocolate and, bar. And no added sugar. So this is gluten-free friendly, this is keto friendly, Weight Watchers friendly, nutritionists love us for that reason. So that's your milk chocolate. If you wanna go 100% all 24 bars milk chocolate, that's your first option. Or you can go milk chocolate with macadamia and hazelnuts. So from the outside, looks similar. But as we start breaking through, you'll start seeing the chunks of the macadamia and hazelnuts throughout. And we are very generous with it. It actually blends perfectly so that you're crunching into them as you go along. You can get 12 bars of milk chocolate and 12 of the macadamia hazelnut if you'd like to do that. Then let's talk about what I'm really proud of is our dark chocolate. And I am a dark chocolate lover. If you've not been a dark chocolate lover, please try red dark chocolate because it is unlike anything else. We refine extra. We get our cocoa beans from the Cote d'Ivoire region in Africa. And that means that you're gonna get that snapping, non-gritty, yeah. non-bitter, beautiful melt-in-your-mouth dark chocolate, which is just so unusual. It's made by Swiss chocolatiers, okay? You all know about Swiss chocolate. It's amazing stuff. What I love about it is the fact that when I eat it, I cannot tell that it's not full of sugar. Right. It's sweet. It's melty. It has, when you bite into it, and even when you look at it, look at how it's sculpted. Like, that's what, that's what European chocolate looks like. That's it's, right. it's an art form. It's like when you they go They want into, it to be pretty. When you go into the shops, and you yes. know, when I was in Italy, you would go into the shops, and they would have pieces kind of equivalent to this size on, on a marble slab, and you would look through the window, and you, and you knew that artisans made these and that they were absolutely so delicious. Mm. That is what Red is doing. We got this, again, Master Chocolatiers in Germany. We're using non-GMO milk. We are giving you that European experience here in the States right in your own home whenever you want. And I love that these bars are that perfect size to take with you. The dark chocolate is only 80 calories. It's crazy. Um, so the entire bar. So listen, I don't feel bad after dinner if I need a little sweet and I just grab one of these. And even if I eat the whole thing, sometimes yeah. I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just want one little break. Um, and that's up to you. But what I love is that 24 bars, if you, is is this. So this is the whole, this, this is 24 bars that's right here. $23.95, all those and you got, and they're all individually wrapped. Yes. Take it with you to, to work. Take it with you to, to school. Take it with you in your backpack. Perfect. In the summertime, be careful because it will melt. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it is it chocolate. It is melty chocolate. <laughs> it is chocolate. This is, Let's talk blonde. This is my favorite. Okay, so blonde is our creation. It is exclusive. It is, and everyone that tastes it, and every time, and you've already tasted it, but when everyone tastes it for the first time, they say that they think that there's caramel or butterscotch in it. What it actually is is that we take non-GMO milk from Holstein cows, we whip it so so servers, like we do it so much, so fast, furiously, is what I'm trying to say. And it turns into a whip that we put with our white chocolate. And that now becomes blonde. It tastes like toffee. Yes. Or, or, or like, or like caramel caramelized. and toffee and butter rum. It is go. so elegant. That's the one I, I always buy this. I'll eat this and one I buy this the uh, milk chocolate macadamia. I'm going to eat this one this time. How good is that? Right? right? I don't want to talk about it. Instantly my mouth melts. Much. It instantly melts in your mouth, like velvet. Like it just goes like, and then it remains. So, good. so that you're constantly getting that flavor. 
Like after a few minutes yeah. even. Like it's still there. I love that. And there is zero bad aftertaste. Yes. If you've had sugar-free chocolate, you know, mm. you can tell the minute you put it in your mouth, it's chalky. Yep. It doesn't melt well. Gritty. And, and whatever they, however they make this, I think it's because they whip it and they do so many different things with it. Yeah. Your mouth immediately thinks you're eating high fat, yep. high sugar chocolate. Yep. And then all of a sudden you're like, it, it just evaporates in your mouth. You mm. don't have a waxy taste. Yep. You don't have that, you know, like bad sweetener taste that you get. It just tastes like you just ate Swiss chocolate. All I'm doing is just going, yeah. Like you keep just like tasting it again oh, yeah. because it kind of like just coats your mouth so beautifully and then it rolls. I mean, I can't, it is exactly the experience I had in Italy when I paid two, three dollars for one little piece. Okay, so like when I break off a piece like this, I, you know, and you, you'd pick like 10 pieces or whatever, it'd be like $20. Yeah. And it was like all day long, I would do that, you know, just a little piece like this. And I would do that because it was so exceptional. Well, That's what you're getting here with red. And That's what you're getting Carrie, with this deal. It's 99 cents a bar. Yes. I mean, come on. It's like the days of old. You go to like, <laughs> you just go to like, we used to have a place called Candy Kitchen when I was a kid. Yeah. Walk home from school with a yeah. bag of pennies when you could buy candy for oh, a penny. Oh, cute. And you, could, you couldn't buy a chocolate bar back then for a dollar. I mean, mm. it was, and you go to the grocery store now, even a regular size chocolate bar is gonna be three or four dollars. So expensive. These are 99 cents. And you can break them up into four separate little treats for yourself. That's right, that's what I do. Um, I always, they're always in my desk. Yeah. I've always got them here. Yeah. And you don't get that sugary rush that you get from a, no, a candy bar loaded because, with sugar. again, no sugar added. No sugar yeah. added. The most sugar you have in the milk chocolate is three grams for the whole That's bar. That's insane. For the whole bar. That is why we're keto friendly. That's why we're Weight Watchers friendly. That's why nutritionists love us. They talk about us. We work with them. So when you're getting this, understand this is, if you've gotten rid of chocolate in your life because you said, listen, I need to lose, you know, those few pounds. I need to this. I need to that for all the various reasons that we get rid of the things we love. I know you love chocolate. Hey, we all do. We, Audrey just told me, he said, people are going saying? nuts for the dark chocolate. We so want to talk about dark again? Here's what I'm going to tell you. Yeah. I have never in my life been a huge dark chocolate fan. I just, I grew up on milk chocolate and white chocolate. I used to, I I'd be like, mom, I want a white chocolate bunny lollipop in my stocking. Or, yeah. Well, I guess I was probably like 19 or 20 back then, but that was a lot, yeah. Point is. The point is. The point is. These are, these are the perfect way to, to indulge yourself without having any of that guilt. And I've never, but I've never liked, I was getting back to my point, I never liked dark chocolate. Yeah. I really like this dark chocolate. Yeah. I can eat it because it doesn't have the bitterness. Yep. In fact, is this the orange one? That's the orange almond. So let's talk orange almond because so, we, we didn't really talk about it. I'm going to take a bite of it. Orange almond has oranges from Spain and our almonds, you know, California almonds. <laughs> and they are popping when you, so it's zingy. Like it's kind of like, it gives you that like boop, like of, of the, the um, orange, right? The citrus pop. And then the, the crunch of the almond. So it is unlike anything I have See ever tasted. There? Ever, ever, ever. Little bits of orange, little bits of almond inside They're all there. In there. And when you chew on it, because both almonds and oranges have a lot of oil, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Orange oil, and then you have almond oil. You get that pop of, that mixture of that with the dark chocolate. It is. So it takes the bitterness away. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So it is my favorite. 1,000%, like my favorite is the uh, uh, almond. That's the one that's in my house. So I actually get the bars, because um, when you get them, they're gonna come in this box, right? So you're gonna get two boxes like this, and then when you open the box, the bars are just like in there. So I take them out of the box, and I have my containers, that I, I, yeah. and, I and I stick them you know, straight up in my container. And then when I go in, I just grab and go. Yeah. I grab, and you can keep them in the boxes, but I already had containers, so I put them in there. But listen, they come in the box, two boxes, and then you're getting the sleeves. So what I love about the sleeves, it has, have you priced a car? Hard lately. If you're looking for a good Easter present to bring over to Easter dinner, or you want to send this to your mom, you want to send this to your sister, whatever it is, you're going to get two of them. Write your own private message in here. That's did so much more. Did meaningful. you write me that message last week? I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Cats I out of the bag. It's still as special no, okay. as it was last I know. week. I anyway, you. You the know point that. is you can write your own message. And I think that heartfelt things and saying things that you really want to say is, for, don't buy that $6 card. Give them this. Well, and you, you know what? You're not going to give somebody 24 bars of regular chocolate. No. Not unless you want them to stay awake for the next six months. <laughs> All right? Exactly. The point is, guilt-free. 
enjoy it. It is. You know, Rebecca was saying before, like, don't talk yourself out of it. You deserve it. Enjoy. And, and enjoy a chocolate bar. Enjoy the chocolate experience. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're not going to know that this bar is not a real, traditional, European, high fat, loaded with sugar, loaded with calories, 80 mm. calories a bar. It satisfies. 100 on, on which ones? It satisfies. On 100 the on the milk chocolate. Yeah. 80 calories on the dark chocolate, just because dark chocolate in, in, in itself just is always less right. calories. Yeah, um, but the less, I, less, uh, less milk. But what I yeah. love about it, again, you are putting something... We gotta put things in our path that help us make better choices, right? We indulge when we indulge, and then we, make, we put the right things in our path so that we can kind of stay on track. With this, I feel like I can just eat it no matter when I want it. I don't feel bad. Again, keto friendly, Weight Watchers friendly. We are gluten free. So if you have someone that you're buying this for and they're gluten free, no problem. And also, you're, again, you're getting 24 bars. Now you don't have to keep them all together just because you have the sleeves. You can separate them and give them yeah. out. Look how pretty they are. So we make them kind of like gems. They're kind of like diamonds. They remind me like of the pyramids of you know, Egypt. <laughs> with some pieces yeah. missing. It kind of does. So, you know, we, we eat with our eyes first. So we wanted to give you a full experience, at Red. That's what we're all about. So from the point you look at it to hey, the point you bite into it. Life is too short to not eat chocolate. I agree. You're only on this planet for a short period of time. Eat it, enjoy it, guilt-free. Maybe a tiny bit of guilt. No, I don't think so. I don't have any guilt with those. I, if I ate a whole regular candy bar, I'd feel like, you know what, for two days. That's all how right. much guilt I have right now. We got to go. <laughs> Actually, I got to go, and I got to let you slide I'm over. I'm sliding over. That's Easter. right. Easter. We've got Easter treats. Coming I'm staying over. up. I'm coming Rebecca. over. These are the best Easter treats. Right. Carrie, we love these. I got to do these with you last week. We yeah. have some left, and that's why I'm excited to bring them back again, because these are the cookies con amore. Yes. You get two pounds of Italian homemade cookies, mm. okay? Nona Fernanda's recipes, she makes these homemade. These are classic Italian cookies. I come from an Italian family. She's there, right there. These are her recipes. These are the true, you know, your Italian Nona's recipe cookies, those thumbprints, those uh, Italian wedding cookies that mm -hmm. we know and love so much. And you're getting two pounds of them. Yes. Just in time for Easter. We're gonna go over what you get. Now, I need to say that We've got two options here. You've yeah. got the bunny style, bunny. or you have the carrots, or okay? Carrot. And each one comes with different cookies. So we'll go over what you get, but you pick one or the other. $34.95 today on sale. We've slashed $10 off. Free shipping. You're gonna get these in time for Easter, just in time to have them after your dinner. Put them out on the table. Let everybody <laughs> dig in. There's something for everyone. These are just so delicious. You can even, I mean, We'll get into it. We need to just go over what you get because there are so many different types of cookie varieties that you're going to get in each one of these. Carrot is the pretty popular one, Carrie. Is it really? Even okay, though so I, I absolutely love, adore the bunny I as well. I love but both. They, I love them both and for different reasons. So let's okay. go over it. So you have, uh, and right now you have a choice of both. So that's a good, good yes. place to be. Um, these are, uh, I call them adult uh, cookie baskets. Truly, <laughs> They're Easter, Easter. This is like, you know, so yes. give, the, give this to someone you love. Take this to Easter. These are cookies that are made with love. Cookies called mm. Amore. Mm -hmm. That is why we are called that. And that's why our signature cookie has a heart on it. So the signature cookies you can get, at, you're gonna get apricot, raspberry, and strawberry ones so I'll show you some of those other ones too the GM is made in house um, and that is going to give that absolute difference of not having a sugary cookie you guys know me I'm all about ingredients these are your true Italian ingredients which means it's about the flavor explosion of everything that's happening in each individual cookie and not over sugaring uh, so that you can taste those incredible ingredients this is our polverone mm -hmm. and the polverone has got the powered sugar on top it's an almond cookie wedding cookies Nona likes to say Fernanda likes to say you can pop two of these in your mouth and no one will even these see you. These ones are my favorite. Growing <laughs> up, growing up with these types of cookies, Let's because again, up. I come from a big Sicilian family, the wedding cookies are the best. my favorite. With loaded. espresso, cappuccino. Oh, the they're perfect with that. And loaded with pecans, right? So good. So good. Okay, so okay. going down, you have your crinkle cookies as well. Now, each basket has some of the same cookies yes. and then some different cookies. So it's just good for you to kind of take a peek mm -hmm. and know. And this one's got chocolate hazelnut inside, which is yum yum. Some cookies we know at spring and this time of the year are very popular. Mm -hmm. Again, jam made in-house. Yep, fresh um, jam. We're going to have the beautiful um, decorative cookies as well. So you're talking tulips. We have bunnies that we're gonna have, and oh, these the are kids will love those. lemon frosting is what you're getting so on those. Yummy. And then Nona cookies, we can't miss talking about those. The Nona cookies, 
They have the frosting on the top, but mm -hmm. once you get on the inside, they're super soft. So watch what happens. I'm gonna break one and kind of do this on purpose because I want you to see how soft yeah, they are. You see what just happened? So, so good. So the outside frosting is kind of the harder part and you yeah. break through that and then it goes, whoop, it's real soft sort bread. Uh, you're going to get, if you know cookies con amore, you know the biscotti. Oh, the biscotti is classic. So our biscotti has cranberries and, mm. uh, I'm sorry, has cherries right. and pistachios. I see the little pistachios Which in is not usual. You don't yeah. see that a lot and they're loaded. So these in your coffee or your tea will be oh absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and the classic. last one, I hope, because I know we're going quickly, I want to talk about the yeah. Regina cookies, which are also an almond cookie. Mm -hmm. But in Italy, we call these Regina cookies, which means queen. Uh, the sesames are like pearls, yes, which are yes. on the queen. Oh, so I that's why we that. call them Regina cookies. Okay. So, and these super delicious. Again, I love this with an espresso. This is like yeah. a perfect cookie with that. So you see you're getting a huge assortment. Huge but the big deal is how it's coming too because a lot of times if you get baskets and things yes. <laughs> they don't have hardly anything inside this is this over is 40 chalk. cookies okay so they've ch these are layered in here how yes. they, this is a perfect gift for someone too if you're thinking about a gift for the holiday to send somebody this is perfect. No one will be upset about this. Instead of a card, instead of flowers, get them this for Easter or and get one for yourself. You might as well because it's on okay. sale right now for yep. only, what, $34.95 and you get it home on Flex for $11 and change. I love that the fact that I could reuse the bunny mm -hmm. basket, or I could use the carrot, put, display it every year after Easter. I like to co collect my decorations year after year so that I could fill it maybe with eggs the next year you and put it on display. That's a great How idea. How cute would that be? You know, and it already comes, I don't want to forget. Oh, I love that. Wrapped beautifully mm -hmm. with a to and from. So you said about the card. You don't even yeah. have to worry about the card. It comes with it on there. This is a this is a, just grab yep. it and go. So if you're going to Easter dinner at someone's house, a family member yes. or something, or you have someone that you can't be with this Easter, yeah. send this to them. It will be a huge smile on their and face. And don't forget about the cakes. You brought us those grandpa's I cakes. Did. They were so amazing, so delicious. So maybe cookies aren't your thing, but those little mini muffin cakes, those are perfect. They're so delicious. You see them right here. The um, item number 081500, just under $27. Too. You know, with super special on these, they're one ounce cakes. You're getting 32 of them. 32. They come in their own box that you can put in the freezer, pop out when you need them. And what I love about it, no lactose. No, it's a no nut dedicated facility. So if anybody in your family or anybody you're going to be serving to has those issues, check that off. And they are so moist. Just check the reviews for yourself. You just have to taste them for yourself. Guy already ordered his. I need to get on it because they're going quickly, but these are absolutely delicious. You can get them in a combo, get eight flavors of each, or you could do the banana chocolate chip. I mean, there's so many. There's I go so many. I like them all. Okay, we gotta go to coffee. Thank you, Carrie, so Thank you. much. I wanna have either a cookie or a cupcake, a cake with, with it. Yes, cookie. I love it. I love you guys. It's so good to have you back. Yes, we are talking you. about how many? Look at this array. It's a hundred. A hundred. One hundred pods. These were so of popular. Premium coffee. They are out the door every time we're here. So it's I one of those. That. As soon as we come on, right, hurry up, grab the they deal. Grab it. But <laughs> exactly. yes. Okay. So this is what you guys do. I'm switch right with, with you two and make rivers. you some coffee. Let's go over here. You got to have the brewer, right? Yes. You got to have the Keurig brewer, brewer. But we, again, we have an incredible variety. Our hundred crown, our hundred count from Two Rivers. Michelle Carolla here to tell us all about it. We know it's a hot seller. It is. It's not even for only coffee lovers. If you've got kids in the family, hot chocolates in there. If you've got tea drinkers, that's right. There's tea options in there for under. $45. I mean, we've got this for $42.95. Well, so do you know what that actually equates to per cup? Please break it down for me because I just spent over $5 on my cup of coffee today on the way in. I spent $9.87 no, on mine. I don't think I'll ever forget that number, $9.87. Oh it's 43 cents a cup. 43 cents per cup of premium okay. Arabica-based coffee. That's so good. Which, of course, as you know, Arabica is the best it's coffee the best. that you can purchase. Mm -hmm. So when you have that base like that and you are adding those premium flavors, that's what you get with Two Rivers. That's why you order Two Rivers because you know when you get it home, it's batch made, it's fresh, and it is, it's unlike any other flavor that you're going to get because I don't know about you. I'm starting you off with just a base, okay. just a plain base. Well, this is great. I like, a you know, just... Basic black because this again, is basic I black. usually want to have my coffee with, say, a muffin or a little Italian cookie. So like it you're cuts saying. the sugar, right? Yes, it's exactly. Just Me too. Right. Yes. It's so perfect. Go ahead and try that. That's okay. the forget about it, or as Guy says, the forget about forget it. Forget about it. I, I tried, Ooh. Guy. Forget yes, about it. This is good. <laughs> so that's just mm. your black base, right? 
Isn't that That's wonderful? Like perfect, it's not it, too dark, nope. not too rich, not too dark, it's, it's so like right smooth. in the middle. It is, so absolutely. Smooth. But we have mm -hmm. actual on-staff flavor scientists that create these beautiful flavors. We partner with these legacy brands. Mm. Like, let's walk through some of these flavors while we're making this one. I'm making you one, uh, like one of my all-time favorites. We have 25 varieties here, right? 25 out of the 100? Yes, so okay. you have a mix of, as you said, it's chocolate, it's tea, and it's coffee. Mm. So let's go through, like okay. the black cherry chocolate chunk, which Ooh. we partnered with Friendly's, Cold Stone creamery which is your birthday cake we have pralines and cream a da bomb now if you are one that likes a red eye that's what the da bomb is yeah gives you that little extra kick get up a little early that morning right exactly I'm like, kick or me a little late bomb. exactly like, yes. maple sleigh and then you have <laughs> toffee and then of course with the chocolates like we were saying the kids get to have a yes. have fun with this right you yes. can set out like a little chocolate bar when they come over and play for yes. play dates and even the teens like mine would like this but mm -hmm. you have junior mint we have Ooh, the yummy. mexican mint chocolate we have green power tea we have hot cocoa from tootsie roll we have s'mores we have which i absolutely love which is the pomegranate tea this Ooh. one is just spectacular because i like to start my day oh, with the coffee okay. and the greatest thing is so when you are okay you're getting up in the morning yep. you don't really know what exactly it is that you want right Mm -hmm. but you don't have to choose. You make that one single black pot of coffee and you're sort of stuck with that for the rest that's of true, the time. That's true, right? You go to the store on a Sunday, you pick up that, that's it for the next and that's month, it. right? That's it, and that's, that's all it. you get. Unless you're adding your creams and your sugars right. and your syrups, Any and that's not what you have to do with Two Rivers. So this one, I want you to taste this one. Okay. This and smell it first. Okay. It is It's one of our partner brands Ooh. with Friendly's, and it's a black cherry chocolate chunk. Isn't Ooh. that just phenomenal? It's just absolutely special. And I have special. to say, you know, I'm not usually a person that will pick the flavored coffees, right? I like to grab, you know, something else, maybe a creamer or something to flavor it, but mm -hmm. this... You don't need it. It doesn't have any, like, fake taste to it. It tastes so, so good. It's very light. I love the fact that I can choose that morning what I want. Yes. I'm not gonna wake up every morning potentially wanting the same flavor, and these 100 count? This is gonna last me yeah. months. You're talking the premium coffee. Yes. You have the type of coffee that, well, I know you love it. I'm, He's like, I'm ready for my tea. What's ready? my favorite? Your favorite is Charleston Chew, which I already have. Oh go. my gosh, this reminds me, my mom used to love Charleston yeah. shoes growing up. Right. Actual and I'm your, probably yeah, older like than your mom. <laughs> These no. were the greatest candy bars of all time, yeah. and you've made me this before. Yes. So, I okay, mean, it tastes, like, it tastes like a Charleston chew. It literally we does. We put them in the freezer and crack and them And crack them open and bite little pieces of them. Yeah. I'll make this for you. I don't okay. want you to be left out. That's right. So, the other thing is, like, you, I, I like to end my day with tea. Okay. Every single night, I do hot tea. So, I have a pomegranate tea, which I absolutely I love. I love pomegranates. Oh, my goodness. So, you get that in. season right now. Well, and it's the infusion of that goodness of pomegranate. Yes. You don't have to end mm. your day, uh, like, sort of tanking all of mm -hmm. your hard work with a cake or a coffee ooh, with creamer. Ooh, this one has Isn't almost fun? like a light sweetness to it. You don't have to add anything nothing. to this. Nothing. There's nothing this needed for that at all. You know what I might do with this too? I'm an iced tea type of drinker. If you're yes. in the mood, this would taste amazing over ice. So you could brew it and then throw it over okay, ice. Okay, and, and look at this. This okay, so I live good. in Wisconsin. Okay. It's very cold. It's gonna snow there tomorrow. But if you're in the lower half of the country, then you there know you it's still a little warm right, already. Right. So if you want to make your iced coffee, you know, you're just adding whatever milk that you like, your plant-based so milk, many whatever options, it is. Michelle. It's amazing. It's 43 cents a cup and yeah. the pods are recyclable. Thank you. Oh, even better. Yeah. Even going better. green. Thank you so much, Michelle, <laughs> sure. again. at 42.95. Scan that QR code. Get it home. Last forever. Something for the whole family. Yep. All right, Thank guy. You. Let's take it back over to you. You have your Charleston chew later. <laughs> it's making. It's cooking. I, I know. <laughs> I'll probably have it with a bagel. Yes. Ooh, all right. Perfect. So the company is called Brooklyn Food Group. All right. Um, these are my absolute favorite bagels that we have here at HSN. I love them because they're the classic New York bagel, right? But look at the offer we're doing today. You get 24 bagels for $34 and change. That's a little over a dollar a bagel. If you went to New York and ordered a bagel, you're going to spend five, six, seven bucks. And that's where you put toppings on it. We have, and Andre, if you do me a favor, let me know what I have left in all the different flavors. So this is like a trip to New York City, I'm telling you. And one of the cool things is they all come individually wrapped. So you can keep them in the freezer and you can pull them out when you need them. So if you want plain, I got five dozen. Blueberry, which I got five dozen. Cinnamon, five dozen. Whole wheat, less than that. I got about four dozen of the whole wheat. Now, if you want a combo, all right, remember you're getting 24, you're gonna get six each 
of the cinnamon raisin, the plain, blueberry, and whole wheat, right? So you get six each. That's always the most, uh, the most popular. We have auto ship available if you want to get it. I ordered mine today. I put them in the freezer. I pop them out when I need them. And they're all individually wrapped. Um, you know, Gerard did this a while back when we were going through all the, the you know, the crap with, with COVID. And he's like, you know what? People want their own bagels. My seniors love this. Let me get you my buddy out here. His name is Gerard Federa. He is from the uh, Brooklyn Food Group Company. And it's good hey, to guys. see you, buddy. Well, you had these on. We were on a week or two ago. Yeah. Exactly. Crazy. Everybody we, went nuts. So they, love the, they love the individually wrapped. I'm surprised, but listen. It's a great I, idea. I'd never be surprised. So what makes your bagels so good? Well, naturally, it's the ingredients. You start with the ingredients. We have great ingredients. My company, my ingredient company is 90, 94 years old. I'm wow. losing track now. Yeah. 94 years old. So we know ingredients. But of course, the best ingredient of all is the... New York. The New York water. You got it. So we got that New York water going. Yeah. We got the ingredients going. So, you know, you asked me for, hey, can we get them sliced? Yeah. Okay. The other ones, you know, our traditional bagel, we don't slice them. Uh, these we slice. Well, you listen. That's why we got to wrap them. My, mother is, wrap them my mother's 90 years old. I don't, I don't want her taking a big knife and trying to cut a no, bagel. No, no. And, and they're all baked fresh. And they're immediately sliced and put in the bag. So when you open them up and you toast them, you're good to go. You don't even have to cut them. You just open them up. You can toast them. I like putting the whole thing in the oven. Oh, it's the best. I like it like uh, that. Like, I, I don't too. use I a do toaster. Right I do. I, I put it right in the oven. I let the outside get crunchy. And talk to me about the preparation. So how do we make a bagel? Like when we actually make okay. it. So you mix the dough, you yeah. ferment the dough. It sits usually overnight in a retarder, it ferments. And you put them in. Then we boil them. What do you boil them in? Water. But I mean, is, did you guys put anything in the water or no? No, no, just, just plain it goes through like steam water. It goes New right York through. water. Of course. Okay. And then it goes through the steaming process or the boiling process. It goes through a, an oven, out it comes. Then we, we got to cool off, of course. Then we wrap them up. They are so, now, they're so New York, okay? Yes. Crispy, crunchy on the outside, yeasty, doughy on right. the inside. And, and whether you like them sweet or savory, Gerard knows how I like my bagel. I like uh -huh. the bagel and cream cheese with the salmon. That's my favorite. What about the capers and onions? You I got to have all. I got to have the capers and you know, the onions, too. That was too. my father's favorite sandwich oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah, all yeah. time. I used to call it the Mr. John's. Oh, my God. It's so good. In his honor. So tasty. But, so we're going to make something here? Yeah, let's what can do we it. Make? Okay. So I, make me. I'm going to do. Actually, I'll grab. You do that. I'm, I'm going to do a regular bagel. Okay. And I'm just going to hit our toaster for a just, minute. Yeah, just, a, yeah, just for a second. Get a little heat. I'm going to do heat. salmon. I'm going to do onions. onions. I'm going to do capers. I'm going to steal this lime, a lemon, because I like lemon on it as right. well. And we actually pre-toasted this. I think we're already, we're pretty much yeah, ready. Yeah, you're to good. Go. You're just eating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do a blueberry with some cream cheese. Right. I know it's late so, in the day, but I want everybody to see. You know what the see. nice thing about this guy yeah, is? Yeah, go ahead. These bagels, you could take them out any time. Yeah. Okay. Now. I just, I, I just want to tell you that these bagels, you can leave them on your counter for 30, you're going to receive them. They're not frozen. Leave them on your counter 30 days. 30 days. Now, if you can't eat them in 30 days. You can leave them out for 30, 30 days. 30 days. Throw them in the freezer, okay? Throw them in the freezer and take them out when you're ready. If you're going to go over 30 days, you either got to freeze them or, you know, well, get into some I would, you okay. know, for most you of my, got, you got 30 here, most so. of my customers, you know, are either empty nesters or they live with their partner. Uh -huh. You can stick them right in the freezer and you pull them out whenever you need them. That's my suggestion to you. So I'm going to go cream cheese. Oh, yeah. I got to do a little bit of well, salmon. You got room to eat anything? No, God, I'll tell I've, been, you, I've been eating like a pig all oh day today, but that's okay. You really, you did I'm a getting, good job hey, of that pasta. I'm I'll not doing you. it for free. <laughs> I, you know, okay. I'm not doing it for free. I will do just, I don't like a ton of onion, so I'll no, just put no. a little onion too. on there. Yeah, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of cream cheese on the other side. And don't forget the capers. I'm not going to, but I'm putting the cream cheese on so the capers will stick. So watch. Oh, that looks good. It looks so good. here we go. And then here, capers. Look at you. Look at you. I know what Who's I'm doing. Who's better than you? Dude, I, you know what? I'm not from New York. No. You know, I don't have a Jewish deli. I don't have any, any of that experience. You're doing good. Yeah. All right, I'm okay. You sure? And then, yeah, because now I got the capers on there. <laughs> there. All right. Okay. I want you to look. Let me get my, my bagel over here now. I want to give you Let some Let me see boomer. if I get my girl Rebecca's approval over there. Size. All right, you ready? Just do it. Oh, where's that lemon? He's watch doing this. good. Watch this. I'm going to do some this cream one cheese makes it. on blueberry. Nobody believes that the, le the lemon is everything, okay? There you go. I'll turn it around so you can see. It's perfectly crunchy on the outside. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look at how the cream cheese squirted through the other side. <laughs> you did a lot of cream cheese. Oh my God. 
Yeah, he did a lot of cream cheese Rebecca, on that. Rebecca, I might need you to come out and talk. I can't eat all this, okay? Oh, you tell me you haven't had any experience with a Connecticut oh, de did. deli that they, they bring in, they ship in the New York, like the Katz's deli and like but that? I mean, yeah. the, ex deli? the experience of being a New York. Oh, I can't even imagine. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing it, better than a New I mean, York bagel. listen to this bagel. guy. You gotta Rebecca, listen to him. You see, I just took this out of your okay. bag. Tell, tell me what you think. So a lot of people want it sliced. Right. It's sliced. I love sliced. And then it's... Make it easy. And it's... It's... It's not crispy on the outside, but that's what we're going to do. I like that you individually gonna... wrapped it, by the way. Yes. Lock in the freshness. Locks in the freshness. Throw it in the uh, or in the fr freezer and keep it fresh for longer mm -hmm. until you want to pull it out. But yes, you can't go wrong with a New York bag. Oh yeah. You see? That's the right this texture. Is perfect texture. We know. And, and how you doing there? He's really enjoying <laughs> that. That looks so 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 so. We're so just good. dropping this in the. Okay. It's too messy for me. You're going to mess up my makeup. Okay. I don't want that to happen. Look at us. So this one, I think Rebecca. And what is this one right here? This is just whole wheat. Look at inside. So we got some it. ham and cheese. Up. Sexy. That's oh, yeah. a sexy bagel. You know, I always want my bagel wow. toasted, I'm... but these are so good you don't have to you toast don't, them. You don't have to toast them. That so, is some people like you can a make a sandwich, like right? Some people yeah. like they're soft and yeah. this is the right texture. Sometimes I like, you know, I like on a soft bread right. making a sandwich and we're gonna we're gonna make a you know, <sighs> yeah. if I make a, a ham and Swiss or it's a I think I, we, you know I what? think we got black forest ham. You could make little um like the like we had in school, the little pizza bagels. Oh yeah. Yeah, little marinara kids. sauce. And the, kids. That's such a great idea. Yeah. And it's fun for the kids to do with 700 you. remaining mm -hmm. of, of any of it. Combo so is fine. Guys, it's 24 bagels for $34. Ooh, that is a great that's, price. That's a dollar, what, a dollar five, dollar yeah. ten a bagel. And you keep them in the Ooh. freezer, just pull them out when you want them. No you waste. can even find these at the grocery store. No they're waste. not going to be as good these, as the ones at the grocery store. Gerard brings this for us. And let me tell you something about Gerard. Every time he comes, he oh. brings all these pastries from New York, yeah. mm. from you, right? Yep. He brings them in and he gives them to all, like our guest people, yeah. you know, people that aren't on camera. Yeah. Yep. They always say, what a great guy you yeah. are. Oh, but that's, you know what that is? That's New York love. Yeah. That's right. Can right? we say there is something in the water, though, in New York, too? Yeah, there's something. Having yes. been a native of Connecticut, we'd go into the city all the time. There's nothing like a New York bagel, and there's something in the water. And if you're getting this shipped, you're actually getting that authentic, and you know, the right exactly. ingredients. It's the same reason. The same reason a damn pizza is so good. That's right. There's you know, something I, I gotta in the tell water. you, my partner that makes those pastries, you always told me, when you go to visit somebody, you gotta open the door with your feet. Really, your hands should be full. So, oh, I love that. Nice. I was so, like, where so is this going? I, so I come in with my hands full. <laughs> I love that. Uh, we got a couple something. of the girls that work up yeah. front. Right. They're always so happy because they're like, Gerard is so nice. He always, and he brings the pastries to us. He doesn't bring them inside. He gives them to the people oh, that that's greet so you. Nice. Yeah, he's sweet. That's they're, so thoughtful. All right. The bagels too. Mm -hmm. I got up. I got to update you. Should I update? I hear the music playing. If you want whole wheat, how many I got left? Forty-five. Playing forty. Blueberry fifty. Cinnamon fifty. 200 left in the combo went crazy again today. The combo is great. And remember, we have uh, we have auto ship available if you want to grab it. Guys, get these individually wrapped. You can have a bagel every day of the week for a month mm -hmm. and not eat the same bagel twice. That's right. If you get all the combos. Gerard, thank you, my friend. My pleasure. Good Let, to don't see forget, you. I got a. We, we are hand packing these bagels up there. I know you. And I can't go back until we sell them. You, you're my favorite bagel guy. I love right. them. Thank you, guys. All right, Rebecca, what do we got coming okay, up? Okay, I got to tell everyone about what I'm wearing today. Sometimes what are you, you might want to know. You know, we want to shock the host closet. A lot of times we get messages on social media. What are you wearing? Or in our Facebook lives. So I want to let you know what I'm wearing. I'm wearing an Iman. I love this. It's so flowy and gorgeous. This is from Iman, the global chic drape knit. 853247 is your item number. Look at how pretty and flattering. It's super stretchy. I just tucked it into my G by Juliana pants. These are great, nice and stretchy too. Since I was doing a culinary show, I knew I needed a little bit of room today. The item number on that is 824526. Look how fun these are for the spring. I love these. Check on the host closet on hsn.com. You can see what we're wearing all the time. You can, you know, dress just like us. We love the clothes. You can find them too. Right here is host closet on hsn. Come. Do you I'm, love it? I'm wearing a shirt and I know, pants I was like, what are you shoes. wearing? <laughs> nobody, why does nobody care about what I'm wearing? What? You look good too, well, You look very dapper. You want to come to my cold. closet? I don't <laughs> think you want to do that. Hey, you know what you have coming up? I have some really yummy desserts. Do you have the peanut some butter ones? Some more chocolate because I love chocolate. you have the peanut butter cups? The best. Sugar free. It's hard to believe coming up. Okay. When was the last time you've had a crossbody bag that could hold everything? And I do mean everything. 
Well, this Patricia Nash genuine leather crossbody will do just that. It has a separate pocket for your phone, and then a zipped pocket where you can put your money, your lip gloss, and your keys, and a built-in wallet that'll put all of your cards in one. You can wear it as this beautiful crossbody, but if you remove the strap, it becomes your wallet. It comes in several different colors and patterns, and it's also RFID protected. I mean, this crossbody could hold so much. Could I fit in it? Look at that. I do fit in here. It's actually kind of roomy. Now, if you want your own crossbody bag, use that item number. Go to hsn.com or the app to get your own. Me, I'm going to make myself at home in here. Hi, I'm Lacey Chabert. Let me infuse your personal style with a fresh new twist on classic femininity. It's easy, breezy, effortlessly contemporary, and always perfectly you. Join me for the Lacey Chabert collection. Be the first to know when your favorite brands and celebrities will be on HSN. Submit your email for when to watch directly at the bottom of an hsn.com product page. You'll receive email notification every time your favorite brands will be live on HSN. Myself. I'm trying to be healthy. You, the No Sugar Company, <laughs> have brought Cheryl, Cheryl Boyle from No Sugar Company, bringing us these yummy, yummy They're chocolates. They're so good. They're so good. Keto friendly, perfectly sized. This is exactly what I need to oh, not feel guilty about it, but to, to be able to just, you know, it's curb the perfect that craving. nibble. It's, it's just the, the perfect. right nibble. We have three. I want to tell you all of the options and just how much you're getting here of the 60 count of these keto cups. We have the peanut butter flavor, fudge flavor, or mint. You can even do a combo. We'll get into just how many you're going to get of that with a combo, but you'll get 12 count boxes, five of these boxes. And then for the combo, let's pull out and show you that because maybe you just, you love all of those flavors. You want to try all of them. This is what you're getting here. So explain what we're getting exactly if you decide to get the dark chocolate fudge brown or the mint or the peanut butter. Right, so right now they're on the peanut butter, but you can, so you get five boxes of, the, of each flavor, right. you get 12 in each, and if you get the combo, you get 30 pieces of the dark chocolate fudge, and then you get 15 each of the peanut butter and the mint, which I think is the best way to go, because right. you kind of get it all, unless your guy, and he's a peanut butter guy, I know. and he wants only peanut butter, which is great. The peanut butter is absolutely delicious. Well, I mean, it's your classic peanut butter cup, but so, no sugar. Just because I knew you were joining us, I took a bunch of the peanut butter peanut out butter of cup? the shell, so out of the right wrapper. The, put them right in the sorry, pocket. Sorry, right here. I also them. love they are individually wrapped, so if you want to just toss these in your purse. Totally. Right? Like, I like to have an afternoon coffee, too, and I always need something, like a sweet. I've been talking about that all day long. I need something sweet to go with it. This is perfect. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, let's see. So the this is, so creamy. you know what's funny? It's the the peanut butter makes it. Oh, I know. And if you, I know, I want to open it up. Ooey -gooey. It it's really is. Look so at that. Ridiculously, yeah. it's better, I think, than the peanut butter that's in the classic one. Right, 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 right. It has all the fat it's and all the sugar. Probably higher quality. When you yeah. when you bite into it. There you go. Yeah, it's the quality that we're talking about here. It's so creamy. Uh, I, okay, listen, I need to try. I know. I need to try. It's so, and the chocolate complements it perfectly. It's the perfect ratio yeah. of right. tons of peanut butter with that dark chocolate. Look at all peanut butter. I love how there's one what, mm. one gram of carb. Like, I mean, it's one net, net carb, yeah, 70 it. calories, zero sugar. I don't think there's a, there's, no. it is a win, win, win Look across the the back of a regular peanut butter oh, cup. I don't, I'm and you'll see probably between Ooh. 16 and 18 grams of sugar. Mm. Probably at least 15, 12 to 15 grams of fat. Look at right? that. Right? Loaded carbs. with calories. Carbs. Loaded with carbs. Wow. And you know what? Delicious. Right? Okay, so I am a stickler about no sugar because I do not like any artificial sugars or anything like I that. that. Nope. I, the aftertaste gets me. Not there. Let's talk about what we, we have in here, the quality of ingredients to keep it sweet and keep it healthier. It's perfect. So we actually use erythritol, which is mm -hmm. our, our sweetener. Mm -hmm. 
And it's found naturally in pears, grapes, and watermelons. So that's why you're not getting that like coyingly sweet or that no, weird aftertaste. Not, not at all. It tastes not like, doesn't at taste all. like the not at all. These are rich. They're yeah. creamy. They're decadent. And they hit mm -hmm. every little. But here, you don't have to be keto. Mm -hmm. They are gluten-free. Mm -hmm. They're keto-friendly. But you don't have to be keto. It's just a better mm -hmm. choice. Right. If you gave these to somebody, they would not. They know. have no idea. Uh, uh, put that in a cookie jar and just close it. They will think they are just no idea at all. Full and sugar. It's, it's just rich enough <laughs> that one, maybe two, is yeah. enough, and it just curbs that 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 sweet tooth. Totally. I, I keep these in a bowl, mm -hmm. and Danny's girlfriend Lily always comes over, and she's a sweet tooth. She loves them because she's like, I don't feel as bad when right, I eat right. these. She like she'll wolf the them down. Yeah, it's the truth. Because you're a fraction of the calories. Yep. You have a fraction of the carbs, and and if you eat a whole regular peanut butter cup, you know you're gonna feel terrible after that. Oh, for Emotionally sure. Emotionally, several hundred calories and probably later, physically, you're gonna you're gonna hit that crash. Right. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's yeah. obscene. So this is the mint, but that's the peanut butter. I mean, it just pours that is out. So good. Okay, so I think of di different. Let's get into the ingredients. We'll talk about that, and then the different ways that we can use this. Oh, yes, we can just eat it as one, but. Let's talk about the ingredients and just the, the amount of fats and sugars because keto friendly, again, not everybody's keto, but it's a positive. Let's talk about that. Correct. So keto friendly, I love that it's, we're cutting back on the sugar and unfortunately sugar makes everything grow. Mm. So I like to curb my sugar, but I'm a balanced girl. Okay. So during the week, this is me. Yeah. I'm living in this zone. I am making the better choice. I keep them in my handbag. I keep them with me everywhere mm -hmm. because I know 70 calories, zero sugar, one net carb. It's a check, 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 check. Right. And they taste delicious. Right. We use the highest quality chocolate. We use very high quality ingredients. Look at that peanut butter. This is why we are different. The No Sugar Company has created a magnificent peanut butter cup, mint cup, double fudge brownie cup. The fudge brownie is, I think it's more like a chocolate truffle. Um, the mint, I grew up eating those mint patties. Oh, my father yes. used to the put them in the, ones. yes, yes my father would keep them in the freezer. Yes. So I actually keep these in the freezer. They are delicious. And you're not gonna tell that they have no sugar. You're not. So I'm yes. telling you, if people come over to the house, do what Guy does, put them in a container, yeah. people aren't gonna know. Yes. Our, customers, gonna they, know. our customer sure. loves that they're individually wrapped, right? Yes. So you can just take a couple with you to work. Yes. I mean, so you've always got that little bit of a snack. Yes. and. You get that, it really does satisfy the craving. I love that they're made with 1, coconut oil. Coconut oil is so much better for you. Yeah. It melts down. If I'm melting chocolate, I've been picking up a coconut oil instead of, say, butter or yeah. a fatty um, type. It doesn't know, need refrigeration. Stuff. It lasts forever. Right. It's one of those, it's a single ingredient thing. It's, it's like one of those honey. healthy fats, right? right. It's, you know, although honey's full of sugar, but still, you know, maple, maple syrup, same right. thing, real maple syrup, one ingredient. It's, it's really what gives it the body and it gives it that flavor yeah. without a chemical, without an artificial fat, without, without a crazy yeah. amount of sugar, because it's the sugar. And it's gonna keep you satiated. So if you eat something with sugar, with yeah. real refined mm -hmm. sugar, yeah. you're gonna chase it all day long. You're gonna have the crash, you're gonna chase yeah. it all day long. Yeah. Not only does it make everything grow, right? Your, everything on your mm -hmm. body grows mm -hmm. when you have sugar. Yeah. You're gonna chase hey, that high. You and I, because you and I have done keto. Yes. Uh, Cheryl's a very good, I'm close to Cheryl. Okay. We talk about a lot of different <laughs> things we do. Okay. And I will tell you, it wasn't really, it wasn't so much the carbs, it was the sugar. Oh, it is the sugar. I, mean, it's I, made, I weighed like 240 pounds mm -hmm. a sugar's bunch of years ago, yeah. and I made my, maintained my weight at 220. But it, that 20 pounds, it was the sugar. Right. Because sugar. it's in ketchup. It's, it's absolutely in everything. All Hiding. the condiments. Everything. It's, yeah. every, it's in breads. And that's, this has no sugar. I love but that. But your, well, your, yeah. your mind says, I'm getting a sugar. Right. I'm getting but a you're sweet. getting that, so you're, yeah. you're allowed to you right. know, not sacrifice everything. Oh, man, you can you, still have, have sweet Have you ever tasted too? this thing she made? I know, she said she's going to make a milkshake with it. I was thinking I could even chop it up and put it and mix it in with ice cream. Totally. Or for the kids, right? Yeah. Mix it up with ice cream yeah. and the topping. What, what kind of flavor you put Peanut in Peanut butter. Of course. Peanut she, butter. And she, I put, she, I put, she still likes me. I, put, I do. And I put two in there. You can put as many as you want. This is such a good but idea. 140 calories to have a milkshake. Wait, okay, I can't. To have a milkshake? Get out of here. It's so good. Oh. That looks yeah, like cookies and cream. If you want to try something different. Yeah. yeah. A different way yeah. to get your chocolate. Totally. All right, come on, Cheryl. And, oh, and to your so point, good. you can chop it up. I actually put it at the bottom of my coffee cup. I put the fudge brownie. Oh, if you ever want idea. like a coffee, a chocolate right. coffee. Like a mocha shake. So this is good too because Ladies you know first. your kids yeah. might want to have a dessert, but you know, what they're eating, one thing after the other, it's too much sugar. And this is kids, a good way. And kids ain't gonna know there ain't no they're sugar. They're not gonna know any difference here. <laughs> no, 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 no difference. Mommy made me a milkshake. <laughs> mm. 
Oh my goodness. I love Isn't that it. Good? That's good. And it's light. That's good. Like you don't feel like you're eating a giant right. stick of butter. And no, then you feel it's just, no, 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 it's delicious. That is so good. So 70 calories, zero sugar, one net wow. carb. But the most important thing mm. that we keep talking about is so how good. delicious it is. Yeah. They are delicious. They are creamy. They are decadent. They're made with high quality ingredients and you are not going to know that there is no sugar. The fact that they're individually wrapped, trust me when I tell you, these are the things I throw in my handbag yeah. and I'm the girl who reaches for them at a stop. Oh, if you see the girl who's like doing that, that is me. Every day. And Every day that's me in the, the afternoon. When I have my afternoon coffee or I'm just like, I need to pick me up. I just need something sweet. Just yep. something sweet. And again, like I said, when I took a bite of the one with the peanut butter, we have to try the other ones. Oh, yeah. Might as well. There's mint and there, I just took, okay. I had them take them out Here's of the wrapper just for us. It's rich enough where one really just... It, just is perfect. It satiates right? you. Right, Satiate. That's the word. I was, I'm losing it the words, but that's the word. It has that perfect satiating quality, especially mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. peanut butter because it's that filling decadence. You're going to love these. The No Sugar Company has amazing, oh amazing no sugar sweets, and these are individu individually wrapped. You're going to love them. Cheryl, thank you thank so much. You. It was so great to meet great you. Great to meet you. Oh, I can't wait for... I'm going to throw these in my bag. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to go to Guy. If you're thinking about Easter dinner, you need a protein, he's your man. So good. Thank you. Look at what you got here. This is my best bite. I always pick an item every show. I'm gonna slide this out of the way so we can see that a little bit better. There we go. Um, this, the gentleman you're about to meet, he's an award winner. Uh, his name is Brian Teeters. He's uh, with us from KG Barbecue. He's won all kinds of trophies. The guy knows how to smoke some meat. That's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> and we are doing something special for you today in time for Easter. So a lot of people like to do the Easter ham, which is just another piece of pork. We are doing the filet mignon That's right. of the pig, which is that backstrap, which is that beef tenderloin, but in a pork and a pig, all right? And I am telling you, buttery, delicious. It comes completely cooked. That's right. Flash frozen with the sauce. That's right. And all you gotta do is heat it up, slice it nice and thin, and enjoy that delicious KG barbecue taste. So here's what you're gonna get. Everybody is gonna get three, and to come on over to me for a sec, I'll show you. Everybody's gonna get three one and a half pound pork tenderloins, all right? They've all been smoked. They've been, they're, they're ready to go. They're, they're, they're right out of the package, just, just warm them up, all right? To frost them first and then warm them up. That's right. If you wanna pop them on the grill, for a minute or two, you could do that as well. But everybody gets three individual. Look at the size of these. That is a whole tenderloin right there. And it is buttery. My friend, it's good to see you. Welcome to the show. Good you don't to have see to shake. Well. You already shook my okay. head. Fair I want enough. you to just keep slicing That's up. That's right. What makes this so different? What so, makes it so special? Well, you already nailed it, guys. So first of all, we're talking about the most tender piece of the pig, right? Yeah. The, the pork tenderloin right there. And look at this. Look at the juice when you just squeeze it just with the knife right there. Right? So that's just telling you that this thing is cooked and smoked perfectly. And then you see, I'll slice you a clean cut here. You see that see that ring around there? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that smoke ring. That's, that's letting smoke. you know. How long do you smoke it for? That's, well, man? so each one of these is going to be a little bit different. So we want to make sure they're smoked perfectly, right? Right. And so we're going to do a little bit different timing. But what we're looking for is that smoke ring in there, right? See it right there? So we're, it smokes for a while, okay? But what we're looking for is to make sure that you get that juice, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that smoke ring in every single one. So these are going on our charcoal. Hickory pits. Can I grab that smoke? piece? Absolutely you mind if I can. grab Get that piece there. right there? Get Hold in on. there. Hold on, let me just soak it up a little sauce. I love that it comes with the sauce. And yes. by the way, the sauce is not a super sweet sauce. No. It's got a good smoky flavor to it, kind of like a honey, uh, kind of a glaze. That's right. All right I'm That's exactly what it is. It's a great glaze that you add on top of this, and it's already cooked. The smoke's already there. How about that flavor? And the flavor, right? It is just, Ridiculous. it is spot on. You have right? to come out because I can't talk with my mouth foot. It is spot on. And the juice, I mean, you can tell it's not dry. It pulls right apart. Rebecca, so Brian, Brian, Rebecca. So nice to meet nice you. To meet I'm you learning as well. something today because I never heard, I never knew about the smoke ring. Oh, yeah. Look oh, at yeah. that. You're educating me. Sure. And it's, and it's just like so that all good. the way through. The other part of this, this is meat. From beginning to end. No waste. There's no right, bone. No fat. No fat. No. no. This you get is it just all. Yeah, all straight meat. So the, the three 
pack of the one and a half and see that beautiful oh, smoke beautiful. ring? That is beautiful. That's, that's letting you know that this was cooked with love and time, as I always say, right, guy? You want if you want to grab juice. it, Look at the grab juice. a little piece. Okay, a little yep. piece. Little. I know, I'm getting real full. We've out been here. eating a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, my husband loves a pork tenderloin. I think we have one a week. Well, you know what? It, you know what? It's one of the leanest meats you can eat. Mm -hmm. That's right. It has very little fat, just like uh, just like filet mignon. Oh, yeah, very little fat. Really good. But it has that. You still get that great porky flavor, mm. and you guys do all the smoking and the cooking. So. Like, if you're a senior at home and you want pork tenderloin for Easter, you're going to get three of them. And my recommendation is I, I just stick it in the oven, maybe 325. I like I actually yeah. like to slower cook it. That's right. Like, because you got Easter, so you're going to be hanging out doing other stuff. Right. Put it in there at, like, 250. Oh, That's yeah. right. Warm up. And here, here's the trick to it, too, right? But that moisture that you're seeing in there, just wrap it in full. Either put it in the oven, safe dish, and wrap it, or wrap oh. them individually. Okay. So it keeps that moisture in there, right? And then just hit it with that barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce is already in the bag. The cage. Wow. It's got a more like a glaze. And by the way, the glaze is, is not overly sweet either. That, no, that no, no. sticks out to me. It's just right. That's Brian, right. now it says no, does does the glaze come on the side? Oh, we wanted to know, or is it, or is it in the glaze when you buy it's, it? It's in there. All it's right, so there. it's already mm -hmm. in the package. Yep. It's in there. And I would save some for the side, because remember, it's already, you, know, you can squeeze the rest of it out. That's right. Put it in a side dish, because it's already cooked. Yeah. That's right. It's not a raw product. It's going to come up to your house frozen. And what you do is decide how many you want. You get three, and each one's a pound and a half. That's four and a half that's pounds really of food. Good. That's right. For filet mignon of pork, that's a really, really good and deal. just take it out the night before. 300 left. Put it in the refrigerator, wow. let it thaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next day, you just it's a heat and eat. That's and the so cool thing easy. is, is you cut it as thin as you yeah. want, as thick as you want, because it's all oh, it's you all can make meat. A sandwich you, with this. These later are great in the week? for sliders. Yeah. It's great to add yeah. it to the beans, to a salad. Uh, but what what, what my favorite is is putting it to a yes, yeah. right. Put, I, put it yeah. make it making a slider out of it. But all the way through, beginning to end, is nothing but meat. Again, no bone, no Juice. fat. And, the, and then the juice. That's it's it's oh, all. Look at that! It locks it in from the all the, the whole entire way. It's yeah. all locked in. That's look, exactly he did, right. even did pho. That's I right. know. Look pork, at that. Pork is a huge he, thing. He you can see pho, that on the Brian, right? Hey, you like that pho? I got a buddy of mine in Seattle, and his <laughs> wife makes that stuff. Yeah, and so yeah, now yes, we've thrown yes. the pork on top That's of it. That's what they put in it. That's right. So what? Nothing like Memphis style, competition style barbecue. You're award winning. Award winning. That's impressive. So look, there's that ring again. That's you it. can that see it. That is delicious. See we got the competition uh, mm -hmm. about to crank up yep. in Memphis, so we're going for some more trophies. But again, okay. look at that. Just, I love just, this because it's such a good deal. If you go to the grocery it, store, you still have to cook it yourself. That's well, right. You still have to sear it off, put yeah. it in the oven. I told Brian. Brian knows this. I have a smoker in my backyard. That's right. I use it. I use it more a little bit more in the summer. Okay. You know, it, it depends. But I probably use that thing maybe once every two weeks, so it three takes weeks. A long time. It's work. Mm -hmm. And Brian knows <laughs> the it. other problem with it is what? when you're done barbecuing all day, you know what's the last thing you want to eat? Barbecue. That's right. Because oh, you've been, yeah, I've been you're smelling, smelling it. it. You're like been, full already. So what's nice about this <laughs> yes. is you get the barbecue experience, yes. but you don't get the barbecue hangover that you have from cooking it That's all day. right. Right. That's when you've what been, it's called, the barbecue hangover. That's what it is. That's right. When you've been bathing in it all day, right. you, you wanted something else, right? Right. So, yep. right. But that's the beauty of this is that you take, what, you take out how much you want, and again, that flavor, that moisture, that. it's just yeah. all wow. locked in there. Yep. It's wow. all locked in there. And the fact that it's very easy to overcook a pork tenderloin. It is. Just it like is. it is a beef tenderloin, mm -hmm. right? Because it doesn't have a lot of inherent fat, which keeps it juicy. So you need to know how to cook it perfectly. That's right. When you got Brian on your side, Ooh. you're going to get that. Per it's right. perfectly. And also notice, and this is intentional, it's supposed to be a little pink yeah. on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not supposed to be white mm -hmm. right. or dried out. And that's really, a lot of that is from the smoke ring. Right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Well, what's right. great, too, is, I mean, the fact that you are getting a lot. So say you had a whole, you know, all the, the extended family coming over. You Look have enough. This. But if it's just you and you, your, your significant other at home, you could, these could last for a while. You only need to pull out one, have leftovers, uh, uh, pull in another, another you. week. And Danny and I are, I'm, I'm a big guy, yeah. like Brian. Danny's my size. Yeah. We could probably eat one, maybe. Maybe. You might have some leftovers. Yeah, we good, might. For lunch. So think about that for for. 64 bucks, right. you could probably feed, with all three, you could probably feed 12 people. Yes. That's right. At least, okay? Think about when's the last time you took 12 people out for barbecue and it cost you $64. I, oh, yeah. That's right. It and it's so, and it's so easy to do. Barbecue's not cheap. No, it's That's not. Right. It's, especially <laughs> if you're going to get it from an award-winning, yeah. you know, yeah. sh smoker here. Then you're the, definitely not. That's right. And, so, and you're getting this before Easter, too, by the way. Right? Perfect. Yeah, if you order today. That's right. Yeah. Order today. Order today. Because the 19th, which is today, is the last okay. day you can order there we go. to get it before Easter. And I got to tell you, this, like normally people have a ham, 
This reminds me of eating a ham because it's got the yes. glaze, but right. it's, it's less work. Cause yeah. If you've ever looked at a bone-in ham, about 30 to 40 percent of that is grizzle and fat. That's true. And you got to wrestle with it. And you can change it. it up. Every year, my mom says, "Can no, we do something different? Should right. we do a beef tenderloin this year? Why not a, pet, yeah. a pork tenderloin? And, and it's already running." And you get three, so you and don't have to three. eat it all at once. Meat yeah. from you got to eat it all. Yeah, that's Meat true. Meat from beginning to end. The smoke ring is just perfect. Again, we can show the moisture again. I can't get it's over the there. smoke ring. I'm yeah. so glad I learned about this today. And the juice that just keeps coming out of there. Just that's competition style Memphis, mm -hmm. Tennessee barbecue right there. All right. she can get it is anywhere. so yummy. I'm going to go back in the glaze. Andre the... is updating me. How many left? Less than what? Oh. Less than 400 now to go around. And that includes the auto ship. We only have about 250 left if you want to order the three right now. And we got almost 200 people in the ordering process. So good. All right, I'm taking one last one bite. One more little bite. Get, get in there. I want this little one. Okay, oh. there we go. That's so good. Oh, my God. So good. Thank you, Brian. Absolutely. Good Thank job, Thank you, guys. Good Appreciate see it. you. Lovely. Delicious. Thank you Thank for joining me. I had so much fun. Thank you, guys. We love you. Facebook friends, love y'all. Happy first anniversary. Stick around. Marlo's up next. <laughs>